Hi, welcome to City Vision Social Entrepreneurship course. My name is Andrew Sears, and I'm the president of City Vision University and also the course designer for this course. I'm going to give you a quick introduction to the course and into week one. Um, so the learning objectives for this course is after completing this course, you should be able to, to define the field of social entrepreneurship, the key traits of social entrepreneurs, describe and apply key theories and concepts in the field of social entrepreneurship, describe and apply theories from lean startup and business models needed to rapidly adapt to uncertain environments facing social entrepreneurs, and synthesize and present theories and concepts of social entrepreneurship into strategic recommendations for organizations, in particular um, into a business um, model and business um, proposal or, or nonprofit um, program pitch. So let me just start off and explain how this course fits into the big picture and uh, your overall degree and to different organization types. So um, one of the things I've found, and this is something we call competing values framework. We use this in about half the courses in our business, um, our, our MBA program. And what you find is you, you have the, these tensions, um, these competing values between staff that have ministry culture and staff that has business culture, staff that have an operations culture, and staff that have an entrepreneurial culture. So the tensions across the diagonal, and each organization is gonna to need to have a different mix depending on what they're called to of, of things. But the idea is that as a leader, um, you know, not everyone in your organization is gonna to need to have balance, but as you move up, you're gonna to need to have more balance. So the more um, you move into general management, the more you're gonna be able to operate in all four quadrants. Um, the other principle is the organization needs to be balanced um, in line with with its mission. Um, so this is the the framework. These these things are called clan, um, adhocracy, hierarchy, and market in the competing values framework, and that's um, how how this works together. So um, each of these there's learning domains. So each of your courses really specializes in one of these domains. So you we have a lot of ministry courses that are relational. Um, and, uh, you know, like cross-cultural management is um, a uh, more on, on that side of things. And then we have the business and funding courses like grant writing, marketing, fundraising. Um, and then we have other courses that are more operations. So uh, financial accounting the and, and also governance. So nonprofit startup and board development, project management. And then this course is on the innovation competencies. It's social entrepreneurship. So... Um, you know, in any organization, you're going to have people who do various functions. So, uh, you know, you have the program staff that are going to be operating in this quadrant. You have the admin staff and operations and accounting staff that are going to operate in that quadrant. Development staff, and you're going to have the new programs and social enterprise there. And the senior management should be able to operate in all four quadrants. Um, and this also can map to personality types. If you're familiar with Myers-Briggs, you have the introvert versus extrovert. You have the open-ended perceiving versus the closed um, judging. And then across the diagonal, you have the SJ detail-oriented and organized versus big picture and rapidly adapting. And one thing to recognize um, in this is, is where do you fit? So if you're an operations person, then this course is going to be challenging for you um, because it's not going to fit. It's going to be like you're using your left hand the whole time. Um, I actually um, live in this, and in, in, um, I'm, I'm a Myers-Briggs NP, so I, I really like to work in this entrepreneurial um, space. So it's actually the operations courses that are painful for me. Um, so just recognize that um, you know, if, if this isn't your strength, this is like if you ever took sports and your coach said, you know, dribble with your off hand or, you know, practice with your off hand. Um, that's what we're trying to get you to do. Um, now, the other thing is organizations will have different structures. So, um, you know, what state of development is your organization in? So that's something important to consider for this course. Um, you know, startups start off in this ad hocracy. They're very creative, very entrepreneurial. Um, but they don't have much of the hierarchy and, and structure. Then as they grow, they're going to get, you know, more. So the clan is basically your relational competencies, um, you know, team building. And then the market is, is, is going to be how much revenue you're, you're growing. And what happens is that late stage organizations generally go into this kind of more bureaucratic stage. 
um, which can be fine if you're in an industry that's not changing a whole lot. Um, and there's lots of industries that don't change a whole lot, like manufacturing. Actually, this probably is the right profile to fit manufacturing. But if you're trying to do a high-tech internet startup or internet company, this is not the right profile. And then ultimately, um, what happens with a lot of organizations is you'll have a, a new executive director that will bring in new life, new innovation. Um, and a key thing in this course is to consider not only who are you, but to consider who, who's your organization, because that's going to affect um, how you go through this. So what's your preferred quadrant personally? If it's anything other than the entrepreneurial ad hoc quadrant, then this course is going to be designed to stretch you to be a more balanced manager. And it might feel like using your off hand. Um, if your organization is dominant, especially in the operations control hierarchy quadrant, then um, you may need to think outside the box for your project because we're trying to have you do some, this, this course really could be defined as a course that is helping you think outside the box. And if your organization doesn't do outside the box thinking, you might, um, if, if you're connected with an organization, then um, you might figure out ways that you can adapt. And I'll talk a little bit about with that um, in the next week. Now, the other thing to recognize with this course is how the assignments in this course are designed. Now, this is called Bloom's Taxonomy, and a good, a good course designer recognizes that the way learning occurs is you start off with the, the easy stuff. So this would be like, you know, memorizing your times tables, and then you apply them and you get story problems, and then you get really complex story problems, and then you create new things. So that's that would be in math, right? So for us, the way each lesson is going to work, you start at the top, and you're going to go through course content. And then we're going to have you do some stuff that feels like a little bit of rote work. We're having you write executive summaries. And what we're really trying to get you to do is, you know, if you take notes, this is essentially the same thing, but we're trying to get you to summarize your notes. So that's going to move it more into understanding. And then usually we'll have discussion. So that's going to be making sure that you're able to apply this. And then um, most of this course, this course follows what's called constructionist learning. And the idea is that you learn by building. So um, you are going to be building a, a, a business um, model canvas and a, 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 business, and a, a business pitch or a, a nonprofit program pitch. Um, and part of how we're doing that is we're doing that in a social context because you guys are going to learn a lot from each other. So most of your assignments, I think all your assignments are going to be in what looks like discussion forums, but don't be mistaken. You know, sometimes people are like, oh, it's a discussion forum. I can finish that in an hour. Um, often we will have major assignments that we expect you to spend 10 hours to develop and you submit into a discussion forum. So just just be aware of that and, and try to do them in this order because it's going to make it easier for you to do the advanced projects um, as you go through um, in a given week. The other thing that's important about this is um, a key idea behind this course is what's called the lean startup process. And you have your build, measure, learn. Each week, we're trying to get you to essentially iterate with this. So you're going to start, I think in week two or three, you're going to create your minimum viable product. And then you're going to do a first draft on your idea. And then you're going to learn through the course by talking to people. Um, and then you're going to, you know, iterate. And the idea... Um, you know, people who don't understand that that's the whole purpose of this course may say, this seems like we're going through a repetitive process. Well, we're actually trying to, that's the whole point of the course is to teach you an iterative process. It's not a repetitive process. So if your iterations aren't changing, then you're not learning in the course. So um, that, that's part of the process. Um, the last thing I want to go into um, in the course is look at two key things. We have a workbook template and um we are, in addition to the textbooks, we're using a free course from Udacity that's actually um, considered kind of the godfather of uh, a lot of the concepts that we're teaching, um, and, and that's why, why we're providing that. So let me just show you real quick. So in the course, um, each week you'll see you'll have, you know, the content that you go through, the read and watch, and you need to go through all, all of that unless it says recommended or optional. Um, and then you go through the assignments. Usually the assignments are presented in the order we want you to go through them because the hardest often will be the, the last part. Now, in week one, we have a, a zero credit assignment that what we're really trying to do is to get you to um, go through the material um, for, for this week. And you're going to go to this website, How to Build a Startup. It's a free course. Fantastic. By far one of the best courses. And they call it a course. It's really 
a bunch of videos that are put together. So it's not a full course, um, but you'll go in and you'll sign up. Um, I've, I've already signed up and it's going to take you to the, the classroom. So and it, it's uh, how to build a startup and you'll see these lessons. So each week you'll see, it'll say, watch lesson one. So they'll, then you'll go into lesson one and then it's going to have a series of videos um, and this is Steve Blank, who is the godfather of this. Um, you know, almost all the books that you're reading um, came from his students or people who kind of came under him. So, um, and he's he's considered probably the number one educator within Silicon Valley. Um, so, that is a, a quick summary um, of of how that works. Now, the other thing is we have um, in the course introduction. Um, which you should read through. Um, we have this Lean Startup presentation template. And what that's going to be is through the whole course, you're going to be going through um, starting in week two. Um, for most weeks, you're going to be submitting a workbook. Now, there's a reason why most courses, what we do is we have people um, submit uh, Microsoft Word documents. But because of the concepts of this course is rapid iteration, we believe that you're going to be able to iterate faster if you're doing this stuff in PowerPoint. And it, it's more important that you do it quickly and that you change it um, than that you do it perfectly the first time. Um, so that's why we're giving this to you in PowerPoint. So you'll see um, in week two, it's going to say um, to brainstorm your project in, in MVP. And it, it would be good for you to look through this whole thing so you can see what are the types of assignments that you're going to have throughout the, the course. You can see later that you know you're going to do this business model canvas, and then you're going to have to do customer interviews. And um, next week, I'll talk a little bit more about um, what type of organization and what type of project would could be good for you as you um, think about that. And you might want to skip ahead um, and read some of the material or, or watch that video um, for next week. But if you have any questions, just ask the instructor for this course and. Uh, Hope you really enjoy the course. And this course itself in City Vision is a lean startup organization. So we're trying to rapidly iterate on it. So we would really appreciate your feedback um, if you have any ideas for improvement. So thanks a lot.